Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of a sit down video for today's Vlogmas video. I think it's Vlogmas day 17. I could have completely butchered the date, so excuse me if I got that wrong, but I actually didn't vlog yesterday for the first time ever, and I'm actually filming this an hour before it's supposed to go live. I am going to try and challenge myself to get this up at some point this evening, just because I really want to prove to myself that I can vlog every day. Like, it's not really a vlog, but I can at least produce a video every single day and like film, edit, upload and do all that jazz. So I'm not going to spend too long talking because I don't really have a lot of time to edit it and I just want to get this video out there. But I thought I would film what's in my travel makeup bag because a lot of people have been asking me for it. I think it's been at least like two or three years since I filmed one and obviously a lot has changed in that time. So, just to show you, this is what I always take with me when travelling. I have this toiletry bag that I think came with like a men's gift set it's from henry holland i just i've always used this for no particular reason it's just really big i never fill it all um it's probably about halfway full but i like to have space in there because when i go to like the us for example i always take loads of bubble wrap and loads of other toiletry bags so now i'm gonna go crazy in sephora and i know that i'll just need like stuff to pack my makeup in for when i bring it back to the uk but if i'm just going on a short trip like i was in dublin last week as you would have seen um this is basically all i take if i'm going to my grandparents house my parents staying with family just anywhere this is basically all i take all around the world it probably only really changes if i'm going away for like a longer period of time i might just take a few more lipsticks and a few more eyeshadows but apart from that everything stays the same and this is a brush holder from blank canvas cosmetics and i really like it because it opens up like this and it stands flat on your table so that you can just pick your brushes out and put them back in i won't spend too much time going through my brushes because they never really change um i have far too many in here though at the moment because i bought some new ones recently and i wanted to try them out and I just keep everything in here. But basically, in my brush holder, I always have this eyebrow pencil. It's by Eyelure and Fleur de Force. So I don't use this pencil every single day. I actually prefer to use a brow gel that you'll see later. But I keep this in here just in case I forget the other makeup bag. I've done that once before. It was quite traumatic. So just so that I can use something on my eyebrows. That's really quick and easy because it's just a pencil. I also keep this um, Pixie Eye Define waterline in there. Again, no particular reason. It just kind of stands up straight and I just keep it in my brush bag. Because again, I don't tight line or use anything on my waterline on a daily basis. It's literally just when I've got a full, full face of makeup on and I'm going out, out. I have this Real Techniques, I think it's called a setting brush. I always use this for um, setting my concealer with powder. I have this Blank Canvas Cosmetics F41 face brush that I use for blusher. I have this Bow Bell brush that doesn't have a name. Can you see it? If I swap hands, it's probably a bit easier. I use this for contour. It is the perfect brush for contour. It came in like a set of all their rose gold brushes. I also have this Look Good Feel Better powder brush, but I don't actually powder my foundation. Um, I never powder it. I just have this in here because it's like a travel size mini and I just do just in case I ever need to use it which I don't um I also have the one brush that I could not live without everything else is replaceable this isn't this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 14 brush I always always use this for my eyebrows I use the NYX eyebrow gel this is just perfect because it has the slanted brush on one end and a spoolie on the other I used to have brush number 12 and I used to prefer that but I've gotten so used to this one so I think you could have like either or. I have this Spectrum A18 brush. I think this is meant to be a flat eyeshadow brush but actually I use it for corrector underneath my eye especially when I used to use the Bobbi Brown corrector because I don't like sticking my fingers inside pots and things like that. It's just a bit more hygienic. It's a really stiff synthetic brush so you can use it with cream products and it doesn't like get stuck inside all the hairs and things like that and it's just a really good brush for applying even for like spot application or like concealer anything like that and then i have my morphe m501 um this is actually a really large blending brush that i use for highlight so that is all my face brushes and i have tons of eye brushes mainly because like i said i've picked up about five or six new ones recently and um, the only way i would try them out is if they're in my travel makeup bag and also just because i'm quite lazy and i hate washing them so i have choices but really you like any eye brushes are fine my favorites are obviously the mac 217 this is not it the mac 217 as you can see there i also have this really old like totally random brand 
it's by supercover makeup large eye blender this is what it looks like i like to use this just under my lower lash line my favorite for packing color on the lid is the mac 239 brush as you can see that's very dirty and just for blending everything out my other favorite is the mac 224 i have a couple of the 224s and the 217s and i've got a few new morphe brushes in here too and i've also got this one from bobel cosmetics but this is just a selection of eye brushes like i said I wouldn't normally travel with this many brushes because I travel so much and I find that 90% of the time I will literally just wear the makeup that is in my travel makeup bag whether I'm actually traveling or at home and so I feel like I've got this whole traveling light thing down to a fine art like I'm pretty sure I'm confident in saying I'm quite good at it um let me know in the comments below though if you think this is too much or too little makeup because I'd love to know what you think I often see people posting pictures on Instagram of all the makeup they're taking for like one week and uh, like abroad somewhere and i'm just like oh my god like you do not need six eyeshadow palettes and that used to be me of course that like, we've all been there but i think just because i just live out of a suitcase a lot and so i just have like i think i've just got it down to a fine art and i know exactly what i'm gonna need so i literally i think everything i take 95 percent of it i will use while i'm away so let's go into this bag my top tip for when you pack your travel makeup bag is to actually have the empty bag next to you and while you're doing your makeup if you start with your brows do your brows put your product in as you're doing your face put every single product in here and then you'll just find that, that is all you're gonna wear give or take lip options because i will say there's probably no lipsticks in here i tend to have like one or two just in my handbag and i just sort of alternate between them first off i have a lip balm the glossier balm.com in mint i don't use this all the time but i only really wear liquid lipstick most of the time so i find this is really great if you just want to put it on before you do your makeup just let it sink into your lips do your makeup and then when you're ready to apply your lipstick just wipe off the excess and your lips are all very nice and moisturized so i absolutely love this one i love that it's mint as well next up i go in with eye cream i always try and find travel friendly packaging so this is probably not stuff that i would use every day at home but that's fine i just want to pack the smallest and the lightest stuff possible and i really actually like this eye cream it's by image skincare it's their vital c hydrating eye recovery gel it's a bit annoying that this doesn't like twist so i always worry something will squash it in transit and like all this product will come out but so far so good i haven't had a problem this is very hard to do without a table in front of me so sorry if it's a little bit like not polished and um, then i have this glossier c for bounce i particularly love hyaluronic acid for this time of year because my skin's quite dry in fact this is almost running out and i think a lot of these products are so it's a good time for me to be filming this video because i can then like replace them with my backups and things like that but this is a glossy ac for bounce hyaluronic acid it's like a serum that i put on before my moisturizer and if i'm feeling particularly lazy i won't even bother with moisturizer just because yolo i, I can't believe i said that just because life is short you know whatever i always have this glossier priming moisturizer in here love the travel friendly packaging love that it does what it says it's a moisturizer it works as a great primer too i don't really use a primer like i'm not gonna lie so this is great it's like a term one it's a moisturizer and as you can see i'm running very very low on this so once i've done that i would go in with eyeshadow primer if i'm wearing it this is one of those things where I don't always wear it. Sometimes I will if I'm out for like a long day or if I've got like a like a bold eye makeup look on but on a daily basis i'm not gonna bother with eyelid primer my eyelids are like sometimes they can be oily but they're not that bad but i just have this urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade enigma oh i also keep contact lenses in here my optician was laughing at me the other day because i I had my eye test and she said, oh, I'll put your contacts in. So I pulled them out and I have to label them like left and right because I have a different prescription in each eye. And like, how else would you know? And she was like, oh, that's so funny. That's so cute that you label them. But I, how else would you know? Like there's so many different like numbers and I don't know, like I don't have time for that. So like I always get a Sharpie and write R's and L's on my contact lenses. And I take like however many I need for that trip, obviously. Uh, I currently have three in there, but if I'm going away for five days, I'll probably take like six or seven pairs, you know, just to be on the safe side. Then I have my Beauty Blender or my Real Techniques sponge, which looks like it needs replacing because it's a little bit filthy. I probably should have cleaned this before I did like this video, but you know, like 
hindsight is a wonderful thing but yeah I love this sponge I actually prefer it to the beauty blender I've tried the real thing and I much prefer these then I would go in with corrector this is the nip and fab corrector in the shade terracotta absolutely love this stuff it comes with its own brush which is great but then I just use the beauty blender just to smooth it all out now I do have two concealers in here and the reason for this is I pulled the stoppers out of these just to try and get as much product out as possible and one of them's kind of drying up so the other one's got a bit more product in it so I just wanted to finish one they're both exactly the same it's a NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel and yeah I think one's pretty much good for the bin now actually then I go in with foundation in fact I go in with foundation before concealer so I do corrector foundation then concealer my foundation of choice at the moment is the charlotte tilbury magic foundation i switch up my foundation in my makeup bag all the time this is just something that's new i wanted to try it out so i wore it for the whole time i was in dublin the week before i was wearing the dior backstage foundation because it was new just whatever i feel like wearing at the time i do sort of chop and change the foundation quite a bit just because i like all the foundations i have in my stash at the moment and i hate when one of them is kind of running low so i switched to a different one and then they all run out at the same time which is a really bad idea but yeah i'm really enjoying this foundation at the moment i currently have it on and in case you're wondering it is in the shade 8.5 medium i feel like if you're a beauty junkie this may come as a little bit of a shock to you so so just make sure you're sitting down for this but when I go with eyeshadow, I literally just take one palette with me. And I know, I know people will pack like a palette per day, but I try and just take the smallest palette possible. My requirements when looking for a palette to travel with is that it's small, is that it contains a large mirror, as you can see, and obviously that it's good quality and the rest of it, but the other requirement is that I will use most of the shades in the palette. And this is the Tarte Tartist Pro To Go palette. I only picked this up for my travel makeup bag when I was in Sephora. I love most of these shades. That top pale one probably does nothing for me. <laughs> this is one sort of warm tone shadow that I just wear all over my lid on a daily basis pretty much. If I want to jazz it up in the evenings I use that dark brown shade just up there. Sometimes all over the lid, sometimes on the outer V. That cranberry shade is beautiful at this time of year. This shade I actually don't love so much. I tried it all over my lids the other day and it's just far too shimmery. A bit cool toned as well even though it doesn't look it. And I just don't think like most golds and a lot of bronzes really suit me. So I kind of stay away from these two but because I I just love this shade so much and I like that you can use this as a trio on its own um I just I love this palette and I've had it for ages I think the minute I hit pan on this shadow it's time to say goodbye to this palette but I absolutely love this one and that is literally all I take for my eyeshadow because you know I just I just like traveling light I do also take an eyeliner but I don't wear eyeliner every single day it's very weird my I've got like a damaged tear film on this eye my eyes are super dry and because of that i can no longer wear colored contact lenses my eyes are always dry if you meet me in person even today when i was out everyone's like what's wrong with your eye because i'm always doing this i'm always putting eye drops in and it's just very annoying so i don't often wear eyeliner just because i'm rubbing my eyes a lot and i know that i will smudge it but just in case i want to or if i'm going out for the evening and i want to amp up my makeup a little bit i always carry eyeliner with me and this is just a liquid one this is the maybelline master ink in matte charcoal black i really, really like that one it has like a felt tip end which i find really easy to use then i have one mascara this is the marc jacobs velvet noir major volume mascara that was really hard to read and i was very kindly sent a personalized one and i absolutely love it i really like this mascara actually i think it's coming to the end of its life it's drying out a little bit but it's like it's got a really great brush to it in fact let me quickly show you it has a really great brush that i find really grips onto my lashes it kind of holds a curl although I'll be honest, no mascara really holds curl in my eyelashes. I have to have an LVL lash lift done every so often. Um, but this doesn't like drag my lashes down. It doesn't flake. It doesn't crumble. I just really like this mascara. And like I said, if I was going somewhere where I knew I'd have to get all glammed up, I'd also throw some lashes in this bag. Next up, I have two eyebrow products. This is the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I just use this all the time. In fact, this is running out. And I find that when it's about like this, empty it starts to dry out a little bit so i'll probably have another month or two wear out of this and i'll have to repurchase another one but 
it's about a fiver so it's hardly breaking the bank i love it but i just don't like that you have to squeeze it out onto the back of your hand because then when you're traveling you have to get a cotton bud and some micellar water to take it off because this stuff is like bulletproof nothing will take it off i could probably sleep in this for a week and my eyebrows would not budge that is how good it is but you just put a little bit of micellar water wipe it off and it is gone i just love this product and then i set my eyebrows with the glossier boy brow in the shade black i've said this before in like plenty of empties videos but there's just something about this brush that just sets it apart from the rest of the eyebrow mascaras that i've tried it is so good it's so it doesn't leave your brows crispy it holds them in place all day i've actually worn this on a long haul flight somewhere when i went to canada overnight i think i wore this all the way back or somewhere and my eyebrows had not moved and um, these two products together are like dynamite they're incredible but the only thing is if like me you forget your brush belt which i once did when i went to my grand's house you are screwed if you don't have the right brush to use that nyx brow gel with because the brush makes all the difference <laughs> I think this is actually empty. This is my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I love this because this is a travel size pot that I picked up in Sephora and I have a feeling you can't buy them here, but I love that powder. I literally just use it for setting concealer under my eye and in fact, I picked this up last November, so it's lasted me a full year, just over a year. There's probably a teeny tiny amount left, but it's annoying because my backup is obviously the full size, which I bought here, so I'm gonna have to like it's just gonna be bigger to travel with. You know what, I tell a lie when it comes to eyeshadow. I also always, I don't know why, I've just always had this in my like travel makeup bag. It's a Makeup Geek single shadow. Um, somebody got me like three or four for Christmas one year and I don't think I liked a lot of the shades but this is my absolute favorite shade and it's just a single shadow. I have no palette to put it in because I didn't want to like buy the Z palettes or whatever they are that they go into because I only have like one single shadow and this shade is just absolutely gorgeous especially for this time of year and i always just keep it in here because if i want to glam up my look it's got some really gorgeous like flecks of glitter that run through it it's one of their foiled eyeshadows in the shade showtime it's just a gorgeous shade i absolutely love it and so it takes up no room at all which is why it just lives in my travel makeup bag admittedly though i do forget to use it sometimes next up i would contour and i have this primark it's from their like nudes collection it came like this big gift set I absolutely love these like contour crayons that Primark used to do. I think they've just been discontinued. I look for them in every Primark I go to in every city, whether it's in Leicester, London, Birmingham. My friends were looking somewhere else for me. I had a look in Dublin when I was there. I think they've just gone forever. And when I asked this lady once at Tottenham Court Road, because it's a really big Primark there, she said that this one is very similar. The old ones, they were like, they were like the Smashbox ones. That's what they were trying to copy. But it was three pounds and you get a contour a bronze and a highlight with a sharpener the bronzer and the highlight were crap the contour was what i was there for and like for three pounds come on now this was a bit more expensive it was eight pounds and it comes with all these like weird brushes that i was never going to use and i think it also comes with a highlighter which again i wasn't going to use essentially i just paid eight pounds for this it's a double-ended thing which is Again, annoying because the bronzer end, which I sometimes accidentally use, isn't that great. It's okay, but it's not the best. The contour shade, I just think is perfect. And I absolutely, oh my God, it's running out. No, okay, it's running out. Yes, yeah, so I love this contour. And like I said, that Bobel brush is just perfect Like to, to like blend this out with. My blusher is actually a new addition because I picked that up in TJ Maxx in, in the US, I think. It's this MAC blusher in the shade loudspeaker and oh my god i am obsessed i love this shade like i live for orange blushes and last but not least i think this is all my like essentials and there's a couple more bits in here last but not least i have this teeny tiny becca highlighter again i picked this up in the us because they are just great for travel sizes ever since i picked this up it's just lived in this bag because it's such a great little travel size cute mini but this is the becca shimmering skin perfecter in the shade opal and this is what it looks like i haven't hit pan yet but i don't know if you'll be able to see from the side i have clearly like indented it a little bit so it has gone down but i mean highlighters just last forever don't they so i'm very very happy with this and it is a great shade i also have a sharpener this is a little smashbox sharpener um 
I don't know why. I know why for my old contour stick um, because you have to sharpen it. This one's twist up, but the old one you have to sharpen. I then have a Travel Mini Mac Fix Plus. Love this stuff because it's a mini. I use it sparingly. If I feel like I need it, like my skin's a bit tight, or my makeup isn't going on that well, or my face is just a bit too powdery, then I'll use this. And I also have a very teeny tiny sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Again, this is filthy, but I hardly use this because, let's be honest, like, does anyone really use setting spray on a daily basis? I mean, my makeup seems to last, unless I'm in, like, a really hot, sweaty country. Even this isn't really going to work. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, it's good, and people say it keeps their makeup on when they're all hot and sweaty, but maybe these are people that don't really sweat that much, because when I sweat on my face, I sweat on my face. <laughs> like, you will know. And, like... A bit of this isn't going to help. But I'd like to keep it in here just because, first of all, it's mini. It's probably like half full, so it isn't like really weighing much. But it's just nice to have if I'm like... When I went to New York, you know, I had really long days. I'd put my makeup on in the hotel room first thing in the morning. We'd be out all day. We might come back to the hotel just to freshen up for like half an hour. I might stick a bit more makeup on um, on top of what's already there. And I'd just use this just to keep everything in place for the night. So I really like these. I think they're quite handy to have in a travel makeup bag. And last but not least, there's literally two tiny items in here. A teeny pair of tweezers. Just because you never know when you need tweezers. And... These are actually from Nouveau Lashes. They must have come in a goodie bag. They're great to help you put lashes on if you find stray hairs anywhere. Um, I don't think I've ever used them, but I mean, like, come on, they're cute. They're little tweezers. And last but not least, I have some bobby pins, which I have just with a, like a hair band, hair bobble thing wrapped around it. Not gonna lie, I don't think this hair bobble would really fit my hair if I needed to use it. Probably like once. The bobby pins are just there just in case I've got a few flyaway hairs. They annoy me. Like you just never know when you'll need a bobby pin, right? So that is it. And that is literally my travel makeup bag. Do you like how it's purple inside? I love that. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know. Like, is this too much makeup? Because I feel like people that don't wear a full face of makeup on a daily basis will probably think it's too much. And I feel like makeup junkies like myself will be like, is that it? Because... Like, it's really not a lot. I, I don't think it's a lot. In fact, when I went to Dublin last week, I'd unpacked the suitcase before Jas got to the hotel, and he was like, is this all the makeup you brought with you? And he was so impressed. He was like, you used to bring, like, massive bags and palettes. And I'm like, I know. Um, I definitely think I've improved over the years, but that's just through experience. And um, I think pretty much everything, apart from the two, like, setting spray, Fix Plus, and the eyeliner... I would use, I use everything else on a daily basis. Oh, and the sharpener, bobby pins and tweezers. But like, all the actual products, I use them all on a daily basis. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If I get this up today, then someone please give me a medal because it is already quarter past six. My video is meant to go live in 15 minutes. That's not going to happen, obviously. But I will do my best to get it up before like 10 p.m before people go to bed. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day 18. <laughs> Bye.